Hello, everybody. Craig Burnback here, and welcome to another edition of Burnback's Always Right. Let's talk NFL. And how'd you like that Super Bowl, huh? Pretty awesome. Couldn't really have a more exciting football game, and we loved it. More Americans watched that football game than any other TV show in history. No surprise there, because no matter what the NFL serves up, oh, we're taking it. We're eating it up. We love it. It doesn't matter how much they disrespect us. Yeah, it doesn't matter that they treat us like fools. It's kind of like that scene in Animal House. You know the one with the paddle. We bend over and say, thank you, sir. May I have another? What am I talking about? Well, let's start with the flake gate. And I'm not going to get into trying to tell you that I know what happened to those footballs. I don't know if Tom Brady asked for air to be let out because he likes throwing a football with less air. I don't know if Bill Belichick cares about PSIs and footballs whatsoever. I don't know what happened if some old guy went into the bathroom for 98 seconds with those footballs and what happened in there. I absolutely don't know. Here's what I do know, though. It's about three weeks after that game was played when Deflate Gate happened, and we still don't have any answers. As a matter of fact, Ted Wells, you know Roger Goodell, hired him. He's the independent investigator. He says he's conducted about 40 interviews, and he's still going to need a few weeks to figure out and give us the report of exactly what went down at Deflate Gate. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me this is taking that long? Yeah, they're treating us like fools. Here's what I do know. Any vice principal at a middle school could have had this solved in two days if he did 40 interviews. The Patriots say they're giving you complete cooperation. So who else are you going to talk to at this point? Are you really waiting for Deep Throat, Deflate Gate Deep Throat, to meet you in some kind of parking garage somewhere and say, Tom Brady did it, Tom Brady did it. It's ridiculous that we don't know. But we do know what's happened if you really think about it. The NFL's waiting. They wanted the Super Bowl to end. They wanted to celebrate the Patriots with a parade. And then eventually, when we don't care that much anymore because the game's not going to be played, they'll give us a report. Maybe the Patriots will get a penalty. But we just don't care, do we? Because we love the game so much. We say, OK. And it's not just the flake gate. We're talking head injuries during this entire year. The NFL is not going to allow their athletes to suffer so many concussions and go back on the field. It's a number one priority, right? Ah. You watched the Super Bowl. Julian Edelman got crushed helmet to helmet. Didn't call the penalty. NFL, you blew that one. And then we all saw him a little bit woozy. And boom, he was right back in there on, the, you know, on that drive, made some great catches. Eventually, he caught the game-winning touchdown. And afterward, the NFL goes, oh, no, no, no. He passed all those concussion tests. Really? Are we really buying that? No, we're not buying that. We watched it. We all saw him get crushed helmet to helmet. The test they must have given him must have been like that for him to pass because he was right back on the field. And if we really cared about the safety of the heads on our NFL athletes, that guy probably wouldn't have been back in the game at least like that. But we don't. We're allowed to, you know, allowing ourselves to be treated like fools because we love the game so much. We love to watch it. We love to bet on it. We love to play fantasy football. So no matter how much Roger Goodell disrespects us, because anytime you try to ask him a real question about the flake gate and maybe why he possibly lied about certain things in the Ray Rice investigation, he gives us an answer that's like we're asking a question. We're being disrespectful. Meanwhile, we're just being treated like fools and we're taking it because we love the NFL so much, I guess we just don't care. And how do I know that? Well, that's simple. It's because Burnback's always right.